guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and follow us along this new journey of pregnancy. That's right, my husband and I are pregnant after four years of infertility. Um, we are absolutely thrilled and hope that you will follow along as we give you updates and hopefully just share all the exciting things that come with pregnancy. But in today's video, I want to share with you guys who I've been following over the last four or so years since we found out that it, since we've been, I guess, trying to conceive and it's been a, it's been a struggle for us. Um, through social media, I've met so many friends and have loved being able to follow um, some other people's journeys of trying to conceive or going through IVF or um, you know just struggling dealing with infertility. Um, I've been super inspired. Um, by these people. So if you're interested to see who I follow in the infertility community on social media, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so these are in no particular order, um, but they're just kind of here written in my phone of people that I have been following. I don't even know how many I have here, but we'll go through the list together. Um, so the first couple, um, I think I maybe put them down first just because I have been following them. They were probably the first couple that I followed on social media. Um, and that's Ayla and Caleb. And I will put all of the links below to all of these people's social media and um, YouTube or whatever. So you guys can go down there if you're interested in following them. I'll have their links below. Um, so Ayla and Caleb are just super cute Canadian couple. They're like younger and they've been trying to have kids for, trying to get pregnant for five years. And their story is just so neat. Like it's kind of heartbreaking. They've done IVF several times. They've done IUIs. They even started the adoption process and are currently pregnant with, um, through embryo adoption. So I just think their story is so awesome and they've been so great to share it. Um, it's really helped me not feel alone, I guess, in this. And um, I'm just so thrilled for them. I think they're like 12 or 13 weeks pregnant at this point. So I'm just so excited for them. So if you're curious, um, go check them out. Especially like if you're struggling with infertility, go follow some of their older videos. Like go watch some of their older videos. Like it will just help give you perspective that you're not alone. Like some people just struggle like you're not alone people struggle through this number two is tim and celeste um i follow them both on youtube and instagram and celeste is just the cutest australian she has the sweetest accent i love listening to her talk um and they have been trying for a long time i don't know how long they've been trying but they do suffer with recurrent miscarriages i I think they've had at least six and it's just so heartbreaking. Um, but they have done IVF. Um, I think they might have, I think they might have done it recently, but they, they haven't been documenting as much right now because they are taking a break, but their videos would be really good to reference if you are um, kind of struggling or have like struggled with miscarriages and stuff. Um, Theirs would be really awesome. And also follow her on Instagram. She really writes beautifully. So I like following her on there as well. Um, okay, and then the third couple on here I have is Abby and Mike. And these guys were recipients of Ellie and Jared's um, grant. If you guys are familiar with them, Ellie and Jared are a blogging, YouTubing couple here. They have three kids now. And um, they the past couple years have done grants, like given away grants to couples that are looking to do IVF. And so I found them through um, Ellie and Jared. And so they were recipients of one of the grants and they documented their IVF process this year. And they were kind of going through it around the same time Eric and I were going through IVF, but um, they are currently pregnant. And I think they're like, in their second trimester right now too. So 
can watch their videos and kind of get a feel for what IVF is like, especially if you do a fresh transfer because they did do a, a fresh transfer and they were successful. So super awesome. They, I think they tried for 10 years. They've done IVF before and it failed. So um, anyway, it was just, I just think they're such a cute couple. Okay. Um, then I have Carissa and Brian on here and I found these guys on YouTube originally, but now Carissa is pretty, um, active on Instagram and she is very open about, um, just everything. And, um, I just feel like it's so refreshing. She's super open and doesn't like try to, I don't know, especially in her Instagram story. She's just such a down to earth, real girl. And I love following her. And I think her puppy Rory is adorable and her husband is so funny so they're just a fun couple to follow they did IVF this summer and unfortunately like their cycle completely failed it was so heartbreaking to watch um, but her positivity and the way she just like laughs and connects with her um, followers I don't know I just love it she's so awesome so definitely go check her out if you're not already following her because she is pretty big on the in the infertility community especially on Instagram so go check them out. They And they did a ton of IUIs too. So if you are going through IUIs, check her out. Okay, the, the next one I have on my list is Fruitful My Fertility Journey, which is Candice um, on YouTube and Instagram. I will put her links below. Um, she's like in her second trimester of pregnancy. We went through IVF around the same time, but she did a transfer um, before me. So, um, I think she's done one transfer and it failed and then she's pregnant with her second transfer. Um, and she's pregnant with a girl and she's so beautiful. She is like, I don't know. I just look at her and I'm like, gosh, she's beautiful. Her, the way she does her makeup and stuff. I don't know. I just really like following her. She gives, um, weekly updates on her pregnancy or like bi-weekly updates and um she's really a good supporter of the infertility community even after getting pregnant she's just a really great support um so i really enjoy following her okay um the next i have on my list is it's Kelsey. it's kelsey's life um so kelsey has been um i think she's been pregnant twice and miscarried and um gosh like has done a few I, IUI, rounds of IUI. Um, so I think right now, I'm not sure what their next step is, but she's very supportive of the um, infertility community. Obviously, she's very open with um, her struggles and what she's going through and the process and stuff. So I love following her. Um, and she's strong on YouTube and Instagram. She makes some other videos besides infertility. Um, you know, things related to infertility, but, um, I just, yeah, I like, I like her, um, I don't know, just the way that she, she's very real and open on her YouTube channel. And then the next one I have is Jamie's journey on YouTube that I found her on YouTube, but she's also on Instagram as well. But, um, she makes a lot of videos and like has just started including her infertility journey, like her IVF, um, journey, things that she's been doing. Um, that way she just started including that and um, I don't know I feel like she's such a she seems like such a easy kind of talk, girl to talk to and very matter of fact she doesn't get as emotional as some people do in this community which is totally fine because I I've been there like I get like super emotional about all this stuff but she just seems very like you know it is what it is and just just the way she explains her struggle with infertility, like it's very um, just direct and I don't know. I think she's a really good resource. I know her first daughter I don't think was conceived through infer or through IVF. I think she got pregnant through IUI um, and then I think they did have one failed IVF cycle and then she just recently did an IVF transfer. So, uh, and it was a frozen transfer. So I think we're still waiting on I haven't seen anything updates from her yet, but I'm hoping that she gets a big fat positive. Anyway, so follow her. I'll have her channel link below, of course. So this next couple is Jessica and Ryan on YouTube, and I found them because I was just watching YouTube this summer, and her video popped up. And um, we ended up having like the same transfer date, and then mine got canceled in July, and then. Hers ended up getting canceled in July, and then 
we both did a transfer in August, um, but she did it like five days after me. Um, so we've actually become really good friends. I love watching her videos, but I also love talking to her. We talk on the phone, we text, we FaceTime. Like I just really enjoy following her and our stories are pretty similar. Um, but she actually has, I'm undiagnosed still. We have no, no like diagnosis for our infertility, but she does, um, have a diagnosis and it's something to do with her tubes. I could explain it, but I would also birch butcher it. <laughs> I know because I can't remember the name of what her diagnosis is, but, um, yeah, they found out that basically IVF was their only option. And so she did a transfer, yeah, five days after us. So it's been exciting to follow her journey. And I know she plans to keep continuing, um, with her videos. So follow her on YouTube. Um, and then I have Cassie Moon. Cassie Moon has been in the infertility community here on YouTube for a long time. I know she's been, they've been trying for a long time and they're finally doing IVF and they're currently going through their first frozen transfer. I know she had um, some issues with her like egg retrieval and some crazy stuff going on there, but um, I, she has been so sweet. She reaches out to me on Instagram and just sends me really nice like messages and asks me how I'm doing. I don't know, we've just become friends and I really, like following her. She's super real too about struggle, but she also is very uplifting and I don't know, super great support um, for if you're trying to conceive, if you're struggling with infertility. Um, I have a lot, you guys. I still have like six more. Okay, we're gonna get through this. Rochelle and Justin um, at Rochelle Swanee on Instagram. Love following her. She documents her life so beautifully and her little daughter, Emma, is so stinking cute and chubby and they just she has quite a story guys you should just go over to her channel and watch her videos um gosh like her she did IVF like while her husband was um deployed and she, like I said they just had a baby um like honestly maybe less than a month ago maybe a month ago um so sweet um I just feel like if I saw her on the street I would like run up and give her a hug and she'd be super approachable um, they vlog almost every day and they've, you know, they've dealt with like a failed IVF transfer. They've dealt with, in, um, stillborn, like their story is so sad, but yet like, so like amazing. And then she's just, she, I just love them. You had to go follow them. The next I have on my list is Midwest mom, Anna. Um, I'll put her Instagram down below, but I seriously have like lived by her videos because she did we kind of did IVF and um at the same time and then she did her frozen transfer before us but I kind of like the updates that she would give and the, th the videos that she would make were like totally applicable to what I was going through so I literally like followed her and I still am like her pregnancy updates and everything she's pregnant with twins now but um because they did transfer too but I still am like every time she uploads a video I'm like I feel like it's just a month or so ahead of where I'm at so I'm like religiously following her and I really like her and she's a working mom too which I think is kind of cool because I I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do but I do like the idea of working out of the home um, and I don't know I just really enjoy watching her so okay the next one I have is jo Joan Calzone and she was also an Ellie and Jared Grant winner. Um, and I've been following her for a while, but I, I know they have a YouTube channel, but I've actually more been following her on Instagram. Her Instagram is so amazing and she just writes the most uplifting, awesome things. Um, she's a really beautiful writer. Her, her captions are always like making me cry, but she did experience infant loss. Um, I'm not sure how far along she was, but pretty far along, and they gave birth to their daughter, Maeve, and then um, couldn't get pregnant after that. And so they did the IVF grant through um, Jared and Ellie, and were able to get pregnant through IVF, and they just had their daughter, and she is so cute. Like, there really aren't a lot of babies that I see on Instagram that I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Like, they're baby, they're cute, whatever. Her daughter is, she just captures her smiling and making the cutest faces and I just love her. I'm like always showing 
pictures of her to Eric. Like, he's probably annoyed because I'm just like, look at this baby! Like, scrolling through Instagram and I'm like, look! Anyway, um, so yeah, go follow her. Um, most of you guys are probably familiar with Phil and Alex, if you're in the infertility um, community. Phil and Alex are a really positive, like, you should definitely follow them. They are such a good, positive, like, resource for if you're struggling with infertility. They're very real. They don't sugarcoat things, but they always, like, try to be uplifting and positive and supportive and... They're very involved in the infertility community. They have adopted two girls, actually. Their story's cool. You guys need to just check them out. Um, they've done IVF, I think, three times, maybe twice. I know they're prepping their for their IVF cycle, their frozen embryo transfer, um, like, soon. Like, I think it starts really soon. They've also started a nonprofit that supports um, the infertility community as well as adoption and all that stuff. So... Check them out if you haven't already. They are pretty popular in the infertility world, so you might already know them, but I do really enjoy following them. And they're such good parents, you guys. They are so, they are so good. Like, I take so many little tips from them. They're, they're good parents. Um, okay, the next um, one I, oh, this is just a bonus. This is not like, um, like a particular person necessarily necessarily this is just a podcast that I follow um it's the infertile mafia podcast and I just follow them on like apple uh, like itunes um but I, I think maybe you can follow them on spotify I don't know um but just search for infertile mafia podcast and you can follow them on instagram as well they go through a lot of things on that podcast they not only support the infertility community but they just talk about um the steps you go through with IVF and other treatments, like fertility treatments. So they are definitely a good resource. And it's two girls that actually were here on YouTube, but they they aren't really posting much on YouTube anymore. So they do their um, podcasts mainly. And they both have had um, struggles trying to conceive. Obviously, they, they both have done IVF. They've done, um, yeah, they've their journeys have not been easy. Let's just say that. But um, now they're like in the fertility, infertility community kind of supporting and providing education and information. So I really enjoy listening to their podcast and I know you guys will too. So check them out. All right. That is it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed being able to kind of see who I have followed in this community and I will continue to follow. Um, I feel like I always say this, but honestly, like we infertility, um, sisters or brothers, whatever, people that are like struggling with this or going through IVF or whatever, we got to stick together. We got to help each other. We got to support each other because it is rough. And if you, you can get support from people that have not been through it, people like that just love and support you no matter what, but having friends to talk to that are going through this, oh my gosh, it makes a huge difference. So really just reach out or just follow people so that you don't feel like you're alone because for me that has been the biggest help is just knowing I'm not alone in this that other people are struggling with this too as sad as that is because I don't want anyone else to struggle with this but um just knowing I wasn't alone was a huge help for me during the, the whole struggle and honestly like infertility is still a part of my life even though we're pregnant right now and we're so grateful so lucky and so excited to move on with this pregnancy infertility is always a part of my life and I'm will probably have to continue on with fertility treatments if we decide to have more kids in the future which we most likely will um so I still want to be a support and um just be there for all my IVF and infertility sisters so um please feel free to like reach out to me as well um comment down below. I would love to connect with you guys. So be sure to follow us here on this channel. You can follow me on Instagram as well. I'll put my Instagram handle up here or over here. I can't ever remember what side it goes on, but I'll put it up here somewhere as well as down below. You can connect over there and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.